I wonder how many dead one planet civilizations there are out there in the cosmos. Maybe they're among us, I don't know. Yes, it's funny, the the universe appears to be 13.8 billion years old. Earth, like four and a half billion years old. You know, another half billion years or so, the sun will expand and probably evaporate the oceans and make life impossible on Earth. Which means that if it had taken consciousness 10% longer to evolve, it would never have evolved at all. But I think this is, this is one of the great questions in physics and philosophy, uh, is uh, where are the aliens? Maybe they're among us, I don't know. Do you think we'll make contact with aliens within the, the next 15 years? Well, that's a really tough one to say. So, and what it suggests is because this great question is called the Fermi Paradox. Like, where are the aliens? Like, if there are so many planets out there, and the universe is almost 14 billion years old, why, why aren't the aliens everywhere? And um, this is a, one of the most perplexing questions. If there are super intelligent aliens out there, they're probably already observing us. That would seem quite likely. And we just um, are not smart enough to realize it. Any advanced alien civilization that, that was at all interested in populating the galaxy, um, even without exceeding the speed of light, even if you're only moving at, say, 10 or 20 percent of the speed of light, um, you could uh, populate the entire galaxy in, let's say, 10 million years. Maybe 20 million years max. This is nothing, you know, in the grand scheme of things. What are the important steps in the evolution of life? How do you decide that anything is important? I think the lens of history is a helpful guide here. Over time, things that are less important kind of fall away. What are the most important elements in, in the history of life itself? What would any intelligent species say, oh, those are really important items? Well, there's obviously single-celled life, uh, multicellular life, plants and animals. The animals, you know, things going out of the ocean onto land, I mean, mammals, consciousness. Um, there's about it, maybe 10 or so big ones on, on that list. And on that list will also fit the extension of life to multiple planets for the first time. Extending life to another planet is a huge quantum leap. You have to go hundreds of millions of miles across an extremely hostile environment to a, a planet which is completely unlike anything you've evolved to live on. And that's just really an extremely difficult problem. In fact, I think it's an impossible problem without the advent of consciousness. So consciousness is a necessary pre precursor uh, uh, for that. Consciousness, it, it is, it's the next step, actually, because you, you, you really kind of need consciousness to design uh, vehicles that can transport uh, life over hundreds of millions of miles uh, of irradiated space to an environment that they did not evolve to exist in. Basically, if, if it took an extra 10% longer for conscious life to evolve on Earth, it wouldn't evolve at all, because it would have been incinerated by the sun. It appears that consciousness is a very rare and precious thing, and we should take whatever steps we can to preserve the light of consciousness. And the window, the window has been open. Only now, after four and a half billion years, is that window open. That's, that's a long time to wait, and it might not stay open for long. I, I'm pretty optimistic by nature, but there's some chance, there's some chance that window will not be open for long. And I think we should become a multi-planet civilization while that window is open.